Okay, so one of the most important things that I want to show you is that now as the LED is flashing, it is getting power from your Arduino. But where is the Arduino getting power from? So at the start, your Arduino gets power from your USB port on your computer, right? So what happens is that when you remove the Arduino from your computer, the logic or the code still remains in your computer. I mean, it still remains in your Arduino, but then when you plug it into another power source, it still continues doing that code. So the same logic that you wrote. So that's the one of the most powerful things. And that's why you can take this Arduino software, I mean, your Arduino microcontroller, program it in your home, and then go put it somewhere where it just runs the process continuously. To prove this to you guys, what I'm gonna, so you see now that the LED is flashing. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna remove the LED from my, I mean the Arduino from my computer. And you'll notice that the, the Arduino goes off and the LED stops flashing. Then I have here with me a charger. So if I plug my Arduino to this charger, the charger should supply power to my Arduino and therefore and the Arduino should carry on doing what we have programmed it to do. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead now and plug my Arduino to the charger and then watch what happens. So our Arduino should carry, should still remain running our software or our program rather and comes on and you have it there again you see so now the Arduino is not connected to my computer anymore it's it's connected to the charger and it still does the same functions that we've told it to do so essentially the computer is just used to power up the Arduino at start and then write the program to it and then afterwards you can put the Arduino anywhere as long as if it has power, you can even connect it to batteries. As long as if it has power, it will still run the same program. All right, so that's the one of the important things and this is why these microcontrollers are so powerful. Okay guys, so I'll meet you guys in the next lesson of the LED series. Uh, we are gonna be using the green, the red and the yellow LED to do other programs. All right, cool.